Well, Logan, the team uh, beginning a six-game homestand with a game against Laval uh, on Thursday night. And just your thoughts on the game. Seemed like a good start for the team, a little quiet in the middle and strong finish. Yeah, I think it was a little bit of a weird game. I don't think we played our, our best hockey and, and uh, you know, I don't think Laval played their best, so we're going to expect better from them. And uh, we got to be ready for that. They're going to come out hard, but um, always good to get two points at home. One of the things that you want to do uh, anywhere, and especially beginning a homestand coming off the road, is have that good start. What was the key to getting out in front last night? Yeah, I think just knowing that they had traveled in and, um, you know, it, it's not easy to travel and, and uh, get right into the game, so we wanted to jump all over them. And, you know, I thought we did a good job of that, but uh, we just got to work on playing the same way through the whole 60 minutes. What about you at this point in the season? Uh, you've been in so many different roles already in this first campaign as a pro. How comfortable are you getting just taking whatever comes your way and, and taking charge, making the best of it? Yeah, I think you just got to have fun with every situation you're put into, uh, whether it's power play, PK, five on five. Uh, just got to go out and try and do your best and work hard and, and uh, you know, take the advice that the coaches are giving you and the older guys and, and uh, do the best you can. How difficult is it to come in and be a guy who, who sort of can be one of the top players on a team when you're a young guy. Is there a temptation to kind of sit back a little bit and say, I better earn my place around here? Or is it easy to step up and say, I'm just going to play my game, and if I end up being a, a guy in a key spot, then so be it? Yeah, I think on the ice, you just have to play your game. And, and uh, you know, everyone in this room wants to win. And if someone's going to help you do that, then, um, you know, they want you to play as, 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 uh, as much and as, I guess, as well as you can. And then, you know, off the ice, I think you, you got to, you know, wait your turn and, and uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for the older guys here. So still a rookie off the ice, but on the ice, try and play like a veteran. One of the things that jumps out at me is the consistency in your game and maybe the simplicity of it as well stands out because you're making those basic plays over and over again. Is there a temptation to to want to expand or what are you working on in terms of trying to develop your game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, making the simple play is what's going to get me to the NHL and, um, you know, that's going to be a, a big reason for you know, if I have a long NHL career. So, um, you know, that's with talking to the coaches. That's that's my game, and that's when I'm most effective is when I make that simple play and, um, you know, get the puck out, get the puck in. You know, as far as it goes uh, with this defense core now, we've seen things kind of stabilize a little bit. There was a lot of change for a while, and then a little bit of stability coming out of the holiday break. Has that been important to the team in, in being able to, to play with a certain degree of uh, confidence and consistency of late? Yeah, for sure. It's great having guys healthy again and, and uh, you know, establishing some, some deep pairs and uh, making some chemistry. And, and then with Ole coming in, he adds some depth for us, which is awesome. And uh, I think it's good. And, and I think all six of us are playing pretty good right now. How much of a point of pride is it to see your goalie get a couple of shutouts in the last handful of games, especially here on home ice? Yeah, I think it's awesome. He uh, is one of the hardest workers on this team. So, um, you know, for him, not just to get the win, but the shutout is, is awesome. You mentioned earlier the D pairs have been working a lot with Nelson Noje. You've been also residing with Nelson Noje and JC Lapon. Uh, talk about the dynamic at home and, and the responsibilities. Is everybody uh, carrying their weight around there? Or are they putting the load on the rookie? Uh, no, not too much. I think uh, we all carry our weight and uh, we have a lot of fun together. We all get along and you know, like to hang out and, and get out of the house and, and uh, you know, do some fun stuff. So um, we keep busy, but it's a lot of fun living with those two. You know, a lot of times we hear players say coming out of junior that if they've been living at home or living with billets, a lot of things were looked after for them. So how have you embraced the challenge of getting out on your own and, and developing your own routines? Yeah, I think my last year in junior, I lived at home and my parents were like, you're a big boy. You can you can cook and clean for yourself and do your laundry. So, you know, what? it actually helped me um, coming into this year. Um, you know, we like to cook. We all, you know, cook food together for dinner and, and hang out. So, um, you know, it's a lot of fun.